the cool thing about Halloween is that it's a uniquely American holiday. I mean, despite its obvious origins in the Celtic festival of Samhain and the Christian All Saints Day, it really is a melting pot of various immigrants' traditions and beliefs. It became a little more commercialized in the 1950s with Trick or Treat, and today it rivals only Christmas in terms of popularity. All I asked was what he was doing this weekend. You know, I'm toying with the notion of either going to the Edgar Allan Poe Shadow Puppet Theater or the reenactment of the 19th century Phantasmagoria. I don't want to know. Oh, yeah, you do. Phantasmagorias are these amazing pre-cinema projected ghost shows invented in France where the showmen attempted to spook the audience using science magic. And it just so happens that I have an extra ticket. Tempting. Able to differentiate between two distinct voices, two authors. I found various idiosyncratic words, phrases, punctuation, and orthography within the blog entries consistent with each separate person. Words like soda and pop. One guy uses dashes while the other uses ellipses. <laughs> Where'd you find this kid? He was left in a basket on the steps of the FBI. Think about who shares the exact DNA makeup of another person. Reed, you're not seriously floating around the idea of an evil twin, are you? No, I'm not. I'm floating the idea of an eviler twin. Traditionally, the concept is a good twin and an evil twin. But in this case, it's evil twin, evil. How many cops are there in L.A.? City or county? You actually know the answer. I know both answers. We can use the 21-letter alphabet. This one's 24. Each letter is assigned a bit string of five binary digits. This combination yields 32 possible encodings. Normally, you'd use a computer to run all these combinations, but it was quicker just to do it longhand until I found the right one. He's so lifelike. Three cards, please. <clears throat> Three cards for the lady. And I'm going to take one card. Ooh, one card. Straight or a flush, Dr. Reed? What are you trying to fill in? Uh, well, considering the odds of filling an open-ended straight with one card or five to one against, well, a one-card flush draw is more like 4.5 to one, I guess. You'd say if I was smart, I'm drawn to a flush. Hmm. I think I'm going to go all in on this. <clears throat> So, are you? Am I drawing to a flush or am I smart? Either. Well, I'm, you know, I'm provably a genius, but uh, actually, I was drawing to a full house, eights over sixes. <sighs> I always forget you're from Vegas. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, not so fast. I too have a boat. Jacks over threes. Wait, you drew three cards to a full house? That's like a hundred to one against. Ninety-seven to one. Looks like you're out. I never lose. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what does keep young Dr. Reed awake at night? Wait, let me guess. Memorizing some obscure textbook. No, 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 no. Working on cold fusion. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Watching Star Trek and laughing at the physics mistakes. Actually, there aren't that many scientific errors in Star Trek, especially considering how long ago it was made. There are certain improbabilities, but not that many outright errors. What is that? It's called a star puzzle. It's basically impossible to figure out. You have to put all of the pieces back together to form a perfect star. But the origin of it is um, kind of a romantic tale. There was this young prince who wanted to win the heart of the fairest maiden in the land. So he climbed to the top of the tallest tower in the kingdom and he caught a falling star for her. Unfortunately, he was so excited that he dropped it and it smashed into all of these pieces. So he frantically put it back together again to prove his undying love to her, and he succeeded, and they lived happily ever after. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? You can't catch a falling star. It would burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah, but it's not literal, Reed. It's a fable. But there's no moral. Uh, fables have morals. Okay, so it's just a romantic little story. And the, the point is, it's basically impossible to do because you have to take all of those pieces and fit them together exactly. There's a lot to hate about you, Dr. Reed. I'll be right back. Do not cheat. Standing in the middle gawking at passing women would certainly attract attention, like you're doing now. What's that? Just like that. IQ of 187 is slashed to 60. 
Why are you acting so weird? We're sitting with a guy who knows that there are 800 kernels of corn on the average cob. Arranged in 16 separate rows. And you're calling me weird? Did you know that experts credit Confucius with the advent of the chopstick? He equated knives with acts of aggression. You don't know how to use them, do you? It's like trying to forage for dinner with a pair of number two pencils. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a man or a woman. It's a man. Male pelvis is more narrow, and the opening at the bottom is heart-shaped as opposed to oval. Melted wax? Candle wax? Candles are used in rituals. Also used on birthday cakes. Actually, they were originally used to protect the birthday celebrant from demons for the coming year. As a matter of fact, down to the 4th century, Christianity rejected the birthday celebration as a pagan ritual. What kind of doctor are you? Which uh, reminds me that I have a joke. <laughs> How many existentialists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Oh. Two. One to change the light bulb, and one to observe how it symbolizes an incandescent beacon of subjectivity in another world of cosmic nothingness. <laughs> um, an existential. Okay, question. before he does his quantum physics knock knock joke. Samuel. Yes. Tell the men from the FBI who the Gahe are. The Gahe are mighty spirits who dwell in desert caves. Green. Is your name Samuel? Sorry. I'd like to get a map of the borough. I, I want to do a comprehensive geographical profile of the area in order to ascertain the unsub's mental map before it's clouded by our own linkage blindness. I see you brought your own computer. Looks like it's password protected, so you might not even be able to. You're in already, aren't you? Password was Cullen. Of course. Cullen? Cullen. The vampire family from Twilight. What's Twilight? Do you ever read anything other than technical books? Not much in English. <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can dredge. My love is strong. Okay, thanks. How's the profile coming? I don't know, I never really feel ready, you know? It'll be fine. I am gonna go talk to Tara's BFF before the media requests come in. It gets too crazy. What's a BFF? <sighs> Best friend forever.